country, you know, people often go around saying that we have the best care. But really, while we do have some, some good, excellent centers of health care, they're only available to those who can afford them. We find that rich people come from, from abroad to this country to get health care, while our people are, are struggling and find themselves going to places like Mexico to get surgery or to Canada, or people that I know who have left the country, gotten sick, and now they can't return um, because they won't be able to get health care now that they have a pre-existing condition. They're cared for abroad, but they can't come home to their families. What sets us apart from the other industrialized nations is that we use a market-based model of paying for health care, that we don't see health care as a human right, the principles of human rights being universality, equity, and accountability. And we don't have a system of what our population needs. The reality is that health care is a huge drag on our economy. Our, our health care costs are rising 2.5% faster than our GDP each year. So it's not a sustainable course that we're on. If we actually brought our health care costs in line with what other countries are spending, we would have a budget surplus right now. So Medicare and Medicaid are not the causes of our deficit or our health care cost crisis. They're actually the victims of our health care cost crisis. And so we see this solution as a, a national improved Medicare for all, our national single payer, creating a national universal system publicly funded so that it's accountable with a progressive taxation so that it's fair, so that it's lifelong, it's, it's um, comprehensive, no co-pays or deductibles so that when you're sick and you need to go get care, you're not facing any barriers to getting that care. You're not worried about, well, my rent's due this month, so I can't really pay that copay or that deductible for that medication or that test or, or that visit. It's about creating a system, a rational, publicly accountable, publicly funded system. At a time in our country when we see such suffering and death and really had a need for an open and honest debate about what we required for health in this nation, we saw instead a very strictly controlled, um, scripted debate that was heavily influenced by the insurance corporations, spending $1.4 million a day on lobbyists in Washington, D.C. Um, the legislation in the Senate Finance Committee was, was overseen by a former Vice President of Public Policy at WellPoint, one of the largest insurers in this country. She has now been transferred by the White House to the Department of Health and Human Services to oversee how the, this legislation is regulated. So it's, it couldn't be any more blatant. Um, and this is what we're up against. How are we going to change that? We must create a movement that is independent of political party. It's imperative that we understand what it is that we require in this country and that we're very clear about what that is and we need to be uncompromising in our demands. Too often in this nation we're willing to accept small change and that's what we've been doing now for decades and none of those small changes as we try to patch together the health care in this country, none of those changes have moved us forward. Too often in this country we've been divided. You know we have this whole right left raging at each other and the mainstream media fo you know, feeds that division and that's used to weaken us as a people. If you actually talk to people uh, across the board of what their political belief is, once we, very, we share so many common beliefs. Um, people do believe you know, that if someone in their family gets sick that they should get health care. Martin Luther King said that to witness um, an injustice and to ignore it, to do nothing about it, is committing an act of violence in itself. And so it's imperative that we continue to do this work as the seriousness of the situation compels us to do what we can to make these changes.